Fenty, 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 Fenty. Wow, I'm really excited for this video. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa Marie here. I'm so excited for this video. Y'all know how much I love Fenty, and y'all also know how much I love cream blush. So when Fenty came out with a cream blush, I was like, totally in heaven so today we're gonna be talking all about the brand new cream blush I'm gonna be doing a full in-depth review as well as a tutorial I've only done like half my face right now because I really wanted to show you guys my very first impression of putting it on and all of that good stuff so before we jump straight and please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel I know y'all aren't just gonna sit here and watch my videos without subscribing just hit the button and also hit that notification bell just in case you want a little email or notification whenever a new video is dropped let's get into this I'm too excited all right so when I heard that Fenty was dropping cream blushes I was like oh, yes that's probably my favorite product for spring and summer cream blushes as well as cream and liquid highlighters so bomb it's gonna give you that wet dewy look that is just so beautiful actually I did an entire video on like my minimalistic dewy wet look makeup so if you're interested in seeing that I'll tag it up here as well as in the description box below so you can check that out as well so right now I have done maybe half of my makeup I've got a little bit of concealer got my foundation I did all my eyes got them nice and snatched but what I haven't done is done any powder I haven't done any bronzer blush and I also haven't done my lips yet so I wanted to do that all with you here on camera so let's get into this cream blush for a minute so by the time I went online to Sephora and wanted to snag a cream blush majority of the shades were out of stock but I was able to snag this really cute one and this shade is summertime wine they did do a restock and then I ended up going the next day and placing another order on Sephora for two more shades that I thought were really cute so I won't actually have those in my hand for a few more days but I still wanted to jump on here and try this one out because I'm just so excited I really really love cream blushes so much because of the consistency it kind of gives you that like natural dewy kind of glow as well I just love everything about it so I'm really really excited to just jump in I will probably be using the other two shades on my Instagram so if you guys are interested not only in seeing summertime wine but a few other shades make sure you're following me on Instagram and I'll share all the rest of that with y'all there so I will say at first off the bat this thing is tiny I wasn't expecting it to be this tiny I guess in the way that they photographed it the way that they did their marketing I just kind of assumed that it was gonna be the same size as the bronzers so here is a little comparison you guys can see that this is like a lot smaller but it is cream right and you're not gonna use a lot of cream every single time unless you want to look like crazy you don't want to look crazy so it's really just gonna be a teensy bit of dab every single time so I feel like this is still pretty much gonna last long but um, we'll see how it goes okay so speaking of bronzer I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some on first before I put on this cream blush they did come out with some cream bronzers as well but I didn't pick any of those up I was a little bit nervous to order those online so for now I'm just gonna stick with the cream bronzer I use the shade caramel cutie I just love the way that this bronzer kind of just warms up the face without it being an actual contour it just adds some warmth and dimension back to the skin in a very natural and simple flattering way and I just I love it all right so we got our bronzer all good to go now I actually haven't even set my under eye concealer at all I didn't really want to put the cream blush on top of setting powder I wanted to see how it would do without having to even set my under eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this cream blush and then we'll have a look see what it looks like and see if I actually still need to set my under eyes or not so for cream blushes I definitely don't like to apply them with brushes I usually tend to go in with my fingers especially for those cream blushes that are either a little bit more liquidy or if they come in a stick I definitely usually just rub my finger in there and then dab on but today I'm actually gonna try this one out with a beauty blender so I just have my little damp beauty blender here because it's in a compact it's just kind of easy to dab that in and then boom dab it on the face so that's what we're gonna do I'm really I'm like nervous and excited let's just go ahead and do this this is my literal actual first time trying the blush on camera here with y'all let's do this okay so the beauty blender is picking it up nicely you don't want to go too crazy literally just a couple dabs and that's it you don't want to like overdo it I always like to smile as well when I'm applying it and like start at the balls of my cheeks and then kind of go up ever so slightly you know a little dab a little bit of a time this is such a beautiful color I love it 
So when you feel like you have enough color payoff, you can then go in with the side of the beauty blender to so just like kind of blend it out a little bit. That's really cute and really subtle. Let's go in with a little bit more. Wow. Okay. This is so nice. So one thing I'm noticing about this consistency, it's actually not too greasy. So I have some other cream blushes that I've tried. So for example, Milk Makeup has those little sticks and they're cream blush sticks. They are very, very like greasy almost and just like, I don't know, their consistency is a little bit more oily. This one I'm noticing is actually not very oily at all. Like it's not crazy, but it's still giving me that nice little glow effect that you guys can see here. Um, but it's not like overly dewy or anything. So I know for like my milk makeup one that's like super dewy, I can use that, but only when I'm using like less makeup. I've kind of got a little bit more glam in terms of my level of glam on today. And I'm actually really happy with how this is wearing on top of it. Like I feel like it's not picking up any of the product from underneath. It's kind of just sitting on top and doing its thing. It is so pretty and I love how subtle and natural this looks. All right, let's go ahead and do the other cheek. So this is just a really cute, I don't know, on me it's like reading a little bit rosy almost. Um, it's a nice little rosy pinkish kind of flush. This is just giving me all types of like, just healthy glow vibes. I really like how the Beauty Blender is applying it as well. And the Beauty Blender, just using it and just dabbing it, it just, feels so easy and like I feel like I've got like full control over the product this way you know I love this let's go in with some more let's just go in with a little more I think I'm enjoying this a little bit too much I want y'all to really see this color okay y'all can see it now blend that out a little bit okay this is cute. In case you guys are interested, I am wearing the Fenty matte foundation underneath this and then I'm wearing Milk Makeup Concealer. So I'll go ahead and tag all of that stuff below so you guys have an idea of what I'm wearing underneath. But right now, I am obsessed. I'm loving it. Seriously. Let's just get a little close up. Like, do you see how healthy and like seamless this glow looks? Guys, we have something here. It looks like playful, a little romantic. That's the kind of vibes this is getting me like flirty a little bit. Flirty, flirty. That's the vibes I'm getting from this. I'm cute and I woke up like this and <laughs> I'm gonna flirt with you a little bit. We are cute. We are cute. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder just to set my under eyes. I wanna make sure that my concealer is not gonna budge, not gonna smudge, not gonna crease, none of that. So I'm just grabbing my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. All right, so next I'm just grabbing this Dewy Stick by Ciate London. I just want a little bit of extra dew, just, just a little bit, y'all know who I am. I love that little dewy, wet look. This is my current favorite product for that. It is just a nice little dewy stick, and I'm really curious to see how the blush is gonna respond underneath it. Is it gonna get a little messy? Is it gonna get a little crazy? Let's see, because this is, this is one of my favorite products to use at the moment, so. So I've just applied it a little bit to my hand, picking up the product with the Beauty Blender, and boom. Boom, I love it. Look at that wet look. The wet look that is what I'm currently obsessed with. Okay, last step, I just gotta get these lips all together. I'm just gonna go in with a Fenty Gloss Balm. Like, I'm currently obsessed with cream cheek products and gloss. Oh, Fenty is just uh, giving me life. All right, so I'm just gonna take a paper towel here and wipe any foundation that has come onto my lips. I'm gonna wipe it off. So this way, I'm just using my natural lip color as my lip liner. And then I'm just taking the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, which is like their like pinky universal kind of shade, and then that's it. Boom, glossy, wet, flushed, I love it. Honestly, everything about this look is just so spring, so fresh, 
and it is just giving me all the good vibes. I absolutely am obsessing over this look. All right, so that is it for this look. As for the cream blush, 10 out of 10 recommend. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to try the other shades. I think the consistency of them is really great. Even though the size is a little bit small, I think it'll still last because you're just using a little bit at a time. I really, really enjoyed the way it worked with the Beauty Blender. And yeah, honestly, zero complaints for me. I don't feel like it's over dewy, over oily, over sticky. Super obsessed with it, actually, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the other shades that I ordered to show you guys some more looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed playing around with this stuff with you guys. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, I won't be mad if you just go ahead and subscribe now. And then you can check out two more videos. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.